So as some of you guys may or may not know, Frag Pro Shooter Volume 3 is coming. It is one season away. It is 22 days away. And so this raised a question as I've done like 1,300 Frag videos and I have no clue what to make a video on. <laughs> So what I did was I went into the Frag official Discord, link in the description below, and I asked the community manager, Raph, what type of video would he or the developers like to see? And so what I got, the question is, how about something, and this is from Raph, how about a video about what you would like to see in Frag Pro Shooter for Volume 3? And I actually got to thinking about this. This is actually an interesting idea, and I'd really like to involve the community with this answer. So here's what I want to do, guys. Whatever you guys leave in the comments down below for suggestions for Frag Pro Shooter Volume 3, this video will get shared to the Frag official Discord, and I will try to get Raph's attention so that he can share it with the developers. So maybe they will see your awesome ideas. But... I, myself, have five ideas for Frag Pro Shooter Volume 3, and we're going to cover them. So, let's start with idea number one. Idea number one is characters. Frag Pro Shooter has a ton of characters already in the game, and the addition of new characters does add new life to the game. I would love to see them continue with the ambition of having and creating characters. I know that's fun from a development standpoint, in the sense that you get to create something new from nothing awesome job for them i'd like to see them i'd like to see them actually have the community involved in creating character let me know your thoughts on that down below ideal number two i want to continue to see character balancing frag is in kind of a weird place right now it's still a 10 to 15 card meta i mean 10 to 15 viable cards but there's a lot of cards knocking at the door i would like to see these cards get buffed so that they are now not 10 to 15 but it's 20 to 30 and then 30 to 40 cards that are viable in the correct build. This is something Frag has put strides towards in recent updates, and I applaud them for doing so. So, idea number three for Frag Pro Shooter. I want to see a new game mode. Dun, 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 da. And I have a crazy idea for this game mode. And here's how it will go. So a lot of other small uh, games like this, style like this, where you're 1v1ing, have a BR mode. I think a 12 man, one character BR. So everybody would pick one character, drop into a map, and have a BR fight with 12 other players. Would be a ton of fun and really grow the experience of Frag Pro Shooter and take it in an entirely new direction, opening up a whole door of solutions. Brawl Stars does this really well, for example. Another game I play, 2-3 Arena, does this very well also in Free For All. I think something like that would bring a new aspect to Frag and open the door for much, much more on their end. I know this would take some doing, but Battle Royales are extremely hot, and if we could include that in our Frag Pro Shooter titling and our Frag Pro Shooter game, it will bring a whole new audience to this arena because, honestly, Frag has that draw. I know that doesn't make sense to some people, but to those that does, you're awesome. Idea number two. And this one's going to be a two-part. This is going to be number two and part one. And it's going to be they have to break down the pay-to-win wall. There is way too high a gap between the spenders and the non-spenders in Frag Pro Shooter, making the game almost unplayable for anybody new who enters the arena. Because as soon as they hit Arena 8, they're playing against these max level players. This is a matchmaking issue, but it's also a pay to win issue. There's so much money going in on certain accounts that other players don't have a chance and they're getting matched with these players continually. This is drastically hurting the retention of Frag Pro Shooter. I've been saying this for a long time, the pay to win wall is no good. So how do we fix this that the devs can still make money? Well, at the end of the day, you guys first need to understand the devs do have to make money on their game so that they can fund these awesome new characters, new events, and all these reworks they're doing. But I think there's a better way to do it than by investing in the pay to win wall, by giving one-time purchases by make creating purchases to have to pay to unlock stuff and then have things in the game that are so game changing like frag powers and something new that's coming that pay to win wall is a no good and because of that you're going to turn off a lot of players so i want to see that change now how does frag fix this well 
first thing they could do is stop adding items that can only be unlocked by spending money. I know somebody's going to be like in the chat, yeah, you can get a frag power from opening a bunch of boxes. So let me put this in perspective for you guys. I've done videos in the past where I open 100 plus boxes. 100 plus boxes. I think the one video is like 130. And I get one frag power. I've opened 60 plus boxes and gotten no frag powers. This is not okay. The drop rate is way too low for this to be considered an honest fix. So what I recommend, what is the other option? How do they make the money if they remove that pay to win and lock aspect? Well, I think they invest in the cosmetics. People pay a lot of money to have exclusive skins in mobile games. I don't know why. And there are some games that are taking this to the absolute most extreme point. For example, PUBGM. PUBGM, and I'm not using this as a good example, let me make that clear. But PUBGM has skins that are 700 real world dollars for a mobile game skin. It is absolutely absurd. But to have the exclusivity, people will pay. So if you come out with some crazy skins that really push the envelope to the point where you can have your creative freedom on a character while still maintaining that character's basic um, ID, but not looking anything like them, you create a whole new opportunity for your developers to showcase their skill and character design and for you to bring in revenue. This would be an awesome change to see to frag. People will pay to get exclusive items such as that. I would recommend you do that instead of adding to the pay to win wall where you only get stuff that will help you win the game. I think that that hurts the game long term and we're seeing the after effects of that right now in matchmaking. And by adding the cosmetic factor, you could help mitigate that by not adding more pay to win items into the game. And so part number one, what is the general fix for the new player base and for the competitive player base that is not spending money? I want to see a second ladder created in Frag. What does that mean? I think that Frag has a very unique op opportunity here to rework the Champion series into a second ladder, a season long ladder of where all the cards are level 9, where whenever you play a match you get a win and each win, not trophy total, each win goes towards a leaderboard. Make it so it has to be real player on versus real player. And basically, they're going to go off. So let's say, for example, here, you have, I don't know, 15,000 people that want to play this new ladder. The Champions Season, or whatever you want to call it. The Championship for Frag for that season. Have the awards be the same. Because if we're honest, Champion Series rewards are way too high for how short this series is. And I think by removing the trophy total and adding just the number of wins, you will force people to play your game more. And this will in turn give you more ad revenue, Frag. So rework the Champion Series in a way that is its own separate ladder, similar to your current trophy ladder, but this is a ladder for competitive. And perhaps with that competitive ladder and all those level nine characters, you can add some little twists. Like let's say you queue into a match you have one minute to build a lineup, each each player gets one band for the other, and you just kind of go nuts on these 5v, well, 1v1s, and then the win counts towards that championship ladder. This would help get rid of the pay to win wall while maintaining your revenue wall. This is something very interesting and it would take some doing. So we don't expect anything like this right away in volume three, but this is something that could save Fry. The investment into a second wall that is all level 9 goes for a whole season and counts by wins against real players, not trophy grinding against bots. I think that would add a whole new aspect to your game, would create drive for a lot of your players, and you could do a regional and worldwide board for this as well, and this could add up extremely favorably on your sides. But anyways, I'd like to know your thoughts on my ideas down below, and I want to hear your thoughts as well in the comments. So please do that. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Y'all are legends, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it.